Those bloody protests in Ukraine have now spread to at least five other cities after those clashes in the capital yesterday left as many as six dead. In contrast, today Kiev was relatively calm as both the opposition and the government tried to negotiate an end to it all. As Stuart Greer reports, protesters are warning of an escalation if the president refuses to call a snap election. The barricaded streets around Independence Square still smolder and blaze, but a tense and fragile truce appears to be holding in the Ukrainian capital. Former heavyweight boxing champ turned opposition leader Vitaly Klitschko urged protesters to give crisis talks a chance. The lull comes after the first protesters were killed in clashes on Wednesday. Mass demonstrations began two months ago when the country's president pulled out of an economic deal with the European Union in exchange for closer ties with Russia. Walking into the talks, the opposition warned it would go on the attack unless President Viktor Yanukovych sacked his government, called snap elections and lifted a ban on protests. If we get this result, I strongly believe that we can resolve the crisis. But Ukraine's prime minister was defiant and dismissed the opposition's ultimatum. Armed confrontation is absolutely unconstitutional, he said. There is concern Ukraine is spiraling out of control, with reports of bloody protests spreading to at least five other cities today. And the opposition accuses the police of using live rounds and torture. One of the activists who were actually not killed on the line of fire uh, was found yesterday in the forest frozen to death because uh, somebody took him out and beaten him and kidnapped him together with other activists who managed to survive. Both Canada and the U.S. may consider sanctions, but at least one EU ally says it's too early for that. Now it's about preventing violence, says Germany's Angela Merkel. But both sides appear determined not to give in. We need more radical action. We're ready to die, says this protester. Could this be an uneasy calm before an escalation in Ukraine's growing crisis? Stuart Greer, Global News, London.